Hello everybody. Uh, today we will talk about how we can integrate search functionality in Strapi CMS using uh, MeliSearch and on the front end we will use React. So the first question is why? Why means uh, why MeliSearch, right? Now the reason we are going to be using this particular service is there are some other alternatives and other good alternatives to be honest. Uh, so if you take a look at the Strapi marketplace, you will see we can integrate Elasticsearch, uh, which is very powerful for searching. Uh, I am not sure if we have Algolia direct integration. Yes, we have direct integration with Algolia as well. But uh, MeliSearch is usually very popular in uh, Strapi ecosystem because of its open source nature. You will see that it has a lot of stars and a lot of downloads compared to the other two alternatives. So uh, this is an obvious choice if you are using strapping. Now uh, let's get started. Uh, to do that, what we uh, what we need to do is uh, the first step to do is first thing to do is actually deploying a melee search instance somewhere. So this is not just a library that can work locally. So let's say this is your CMS. Uh, it actually has to use or uh, let's say The CMS will actually talk to the uh, search instance that you will set up. So whenever you update any data in the CMS, uh, the search instance, in this case, mainly search instance, will automatically rank or categorize your data and make it ready for search. So we first, uh, so just to give you an understanding, the search engine will live separately from your Strapi server. So how can we do that? Uh, there are uh, many guides. Uh, here is one guide you can find in MeliSearch docs itself. I'll link it in the description where you can see you have multiple options. You can deploy it to AWS, Azure, DigitalOcean, many other services. In this instance, we are using DigitalOcean to host our Strapi application. So I'm going to use MeliSearch there. Uh, you can find the whole guide here. It is very straightforward. So basically, you go to your DigitalOcean account you find out this droplets tab, you create a new droplet, select a particular region, whatever is the most appropriate one. If you search mainly search, you see that there is a pre, uh, there is an image for that basically. So you will be presented with two, these two options. You have to select the marketplace and uh, you have to search for it. Uh, once you select, <clears throat> then you can basically select your plan. Uh, the lowest, I think, is $4 is not supported. So the lowest is $6 per month, which is very cheap compared to the other alternatives like Algolia or something like that. Uh, in fact, MeliSearch has their own deployment as well, if you are interested. They charge at minimum $30 per month, I think. So hosting it yourself, you might consider this. You just have to do some setup yourself. Uh, everything is as it is. Uh, you just hit, uh, let's say, uh, SSH key. You create a new SSH key and create the document. So that is the first step, uh, which you will do is uh, deploy MeliSearch to DigitalOcean. After you do that, uh, the next step is actually going into the droplet itself and uh, setting it up. So let me do that now. Uh, we have another. Uh, MeliSearch instance deployed in another account. So I just wanted to show you how to do it. So if you go here, you'll see that uh, to deploy the CMS, we have a special droplet here that says MeliSearch. And you can see we have the public IP address here, which we need. Uh, you can click on get started, or you can actually go into the um, droplets itself in order to set it up so let me just show you you go to this access you go to this droplet console launch droplet console and if we come to the documentation you will see that you have to run this command mili search setup so basically you can open it in your browser window you can run mili search setup and it will 
take you through the installation process this is actually pretty straightforward i'm not going to show it to you because that's not the point basically you just need to run this command and it will ask you uh, for setting up a master key which is pretty important so it will ask you for a master key you should note it down somewhere so the summary is you need two things the first thing is this ipv4 address and the second thing is the master key that you get from in this console okay so that that was our uh, third step you need ip address of the instance and the master key so that's what the two things you need from this step now the next step is uh, installing the millisearch plugin uh, that you see here in your strapi application so it is also pretty straightforward you just go to your uh, strapi project so this is the strapi project and you just add, yarn add strapi plugin research right so that's it you just you don't need to do anything else there is there are ways to configure it through the configuration file itself but i'll show you how to do it on the ui that's easier actually but obviously you can go through this documentation to find out how you can configure it through the uh, project configuration that is pretty straightforward as well now after you do all of these things then you go to your uh, cms and after you deploy it you will see you will have a new tab here that will say mini search and this will basically show you all of the collections that you have okay and you can add any collection type for searching here so by default none are selected let's say you want to have game theme to be searchable or language to be searchable right whatever it doesn't matter so whatever you want to do you just click there and let's say i click here and it is added uh the data is basically indexed and you can search through it remember one thing your collection name is going to be your index name in the search engine okay we will see what an index means so basically after you install in strapi the next step to do is add collections to the search instance so remember we said that from your cms the data goes to the search in search instance and here you will have basically a lot of indexes so you say index one we'll have index two so in broader terms index means uh it's basically your data but in an organized way so that it's easier to search through and it's faster so the only thing to keep in mind is whatever the collection name is on strapi is going to be your index name we'll see how it's relevant later uh, the next step is actually to get the key. So a key is what you will use to call your search instance. So basically doing all of your uh, searching works. So you need the key. Uh, remember, we collected the IP address and the master key before. So if you visit millisearch documentation, you will actually see that uh, how there is there are talks around how to get the keys. Basically, you have to make a REST API call to get the key and you will get a JSON response like this. Okay. The way to do it, I'm going to show you it in Postman. Let's say this is the endpoint, right? This is the IP address. And uh, obviously this is going to be changed. Um, so this is the IP address and you will add the authorization header. Uh, you add the bearer token. So bearer token is, so I have added test here. Mm -hmm. Remember we collected the master key. So after bearer, you will write your master key here, not test. This is just for demonstration purpose. So whatever your master key is, you will add it here. You will make the API call and you will get a response like this. The first result is the default search API key you will collect this key and store it somewhere because when you are actually going to make such request from the front end you need that key and this is basically the public key another way to do it is using your master api key to make the search call but this is not secure at all because your master key can be used to control the whole instance so you should not do that obviously create a public key and add it on the front end okay the Final step is actually seeing if the search is working or not. To do that, uh, whatever 
JavaScript framework you are using, it can be React, Next.js, Vue.js, whatever, it doesn't matter. You have to install this package or library, which is Melisearch. And they actually provide the documentation around how to create an instance. So to create the instance, you need the host name. So the host name is basically the IP address. Uh, so basically this thing, okay, excluding the keys. And you will see the second parameter is the API key. It shows your master key, but obviously, as I told you before, you should not use your master key. You use your public key, whatever you get here, search API key, okay? Uh, let me show, and this is secure to use. It can be visible and it, it doesn't really matter. So on the front end, let's say this is our front end application. Uh, I have already installed. So you just do something like this. Let's say, yeah, and something like that. I already did that, so I don't need to do that again. Then you create a search component like I did here. Uh, you create a client, you give it the host name and the API key. Another security concern here, you see that we are not using HTTPS, but in production, you should obviously use HTTPS. Uh, the instruction to do that is actually given in the documentation of how to deploy it to uh, DigitalOcean. So mm -hmm. the next step is creating a client like this. I'm importing Millisearch, creating a client, and the final step is to actually make the uh, search query, okay? Uh, here you can see I have an input. Uh, I am just tracking the search term here and making a call to the Millisearch instance. I'm doing a multi-search, so I can actually search in different indexes. So different indexes, if you remember, are actually different collections. So however many collections I want to search, let's say I have a book collection, I have an author collection, I have a games collection, and I want to search all of those. So I have to look through each index or each collection. That's why I'm using this multi-search. If you don't need multi-search, there are other functions. For example, um, there should be a generic search function as well. You can look that up in the documentation, but I need multi-search. And here I am passing the queries this index UID is basically the collection name. For example, you, if you remember, I added game uh, to the collection. So I can actually search through it. I gave the game, name game here and the search term. I'm limiting the results to up to five. Now, if we go to the front end, let's say if I search for a cryptocurrency name, uh, if I hit enter, Am I making any network call? Okay, I'm not actually logging the results, so let me do that. Now you can see I'm getting the results back. If I zoom in a bit, you will remember that I have searched through two indexes. Here is the casino results. You can see all of the hits. And here is our game results. So we can actually search through it. You can show the search results and whatnot. So that's basically it. That's how you integrate search functionality in Strapi using Melisearch. I uh, hope you found it useful. I will try to link all of these documents at the bottom for your convenience. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.